Okay, Park Ranger B, we're here. Well, why are we here anyway? Okay, so you know how we got that report the other day that the raptor escaped from T-Rex Ranch? Yeah. Well, somebody called in and said there's a raptor in this cabin. Man, that might be it though. I think it is it. We're gonna take our sleepy dart blasters and we're gonna sneak around inside until we find the raptor. Then we're gonna sleepy dart it and then we'll carry it out real carefully. We're gonna put it right here in the back of the Jeep, okay? Okay. Okay, you ready to suit up then? Let's go. All right, got all of our gear right here. Okay, so, I'm get yourself. My vest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 that's my vest, dude. No, it's mine. No, that's my vest. Remember, this is mine, see? Well, your vest isn't gonna fit me, okay? See, look. See, this is my vest. No, no, no. See, that's my vest. This <laughs> is your vest. See? Doesn't fit me. See, it does fit No, me. this is not. It doesn't fit me. This is like a muscle vest, okay? That's my vest. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. Here we go. You have yours, you go. and I'll have mine. Okay. Now, come over here and take your pick. So you got your helmet flashlight. Yeah. Big boy flashlight. <laughs> and a sleepy dart blaster, okay? Okay. Let's suit it up then. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Okay, where's my light? Ah, there's my button there. I don't think there. this is right. Okay, you got your hat all fixed there. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's go for it. You go first. You got your sleepy dart blaster ready to go? All loaded. Okay, here we go. All right. Now. You open the door. This is it. Okay, you go first. No, you. No, 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 you can go first. I'm no, my... you. No, no, you. no, no, I think you do. But you're older. Okay, I'll go first then. Here we go. Count of three. One, One two. Three. Okay. Oh, here, close the door, because the raptor could be out there. That no, raptor, the raptor out. can't get out. Let's look everywhere in this room, and I bet it's hiding in here somewhere, okay? okay? All right. Is it in here? I don't think I see it. Oh, no, I went into flashing right there. No, it's not in here. Where is it? Hey, where's Park Ranger OB? Park Ranger OB! Park Ranger OB, where are you, man? Ah! What are you Just doing? Just me, man. Oh, okay. What are you doing back there, huh? Did you find anything back there? No, just a bunch of bugs. Bugs. All right. I don't think it's in here. Okay. Wait. Maybe it's behind the TV. Yeah, no, no, no. 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 I don't think it can fit back there. Okay. Let's go check out this room over here, okay? Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. Look at the light. This thing's crazy, man. It's going nuts. Yeah. What's going on? Why is this light going out like that? Okay, I think there's some seriously something wrong with the wiring in this place, huh? Yeah. <gasps> did you see that? Well, yep, you do, I did. It's the raptor. Yep. Okay, let's go see if we can find it. Okay. Did it go off in the dark, you think? Yeah. Well, let's go in here and check it out. Be careful now. Do you, do you think okay. it went that way or this way? Probably that way. <gasps> okay. <gasps> the door's open. It is. Do you think it went outside? Yeah. Oh! Just shut! Okay, I don't think that was the raptor though. I think this place is haunted. Okay, check every corner. I don't see corner. anything out there. Okay, okay, let's spread up and check out the whole kitchen. This is like a kitchen here, okay? Okay, right here. Okay, you see anything over there? No, just a trash can with a popsicle in it. Oh, okay. Ooh, that looks yummy. I think I got something over here. Okay, here we go. I'm going in. Here we go. <gasps> ah, it's just a corner. Okay. See in here? Ooh! Uh, just the microwave. Okay. Can I see in here? Ah! ah! Ooh! Oh no. The new high powered sleepy darts. Well, I guess they really do work. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Oh man. You sleepy dart blasted me, dude. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I guess those fast acting. Sleepy darts do work pretty fast, don't yeah. they? Yeah. Well, at least we know it's gonna work on that raptor when we find it, huh? Yeah. I think it might be that way. Yeah. Okay, let's go check it out. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. It's the raptor. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I think we're on its tail. Maybe it's in, in the, the bathroom. bathroom. That's where it is, bathroom. it's in the bathroom. Okay. The, the scariest part of the home. Yeah, definitely scary, isn't it? Ooh, look at the curtain, it's moving! 
That's where it is. It's in there. Okay. All right, you pull the curtain back and I'll blast it. No, you pull the curtain back. It's Wednesday, remember? I'm always pulling things. I'm open things up here. Okay, here we go. On the count of three. One. I'm going to pull it back and you blast it, okay? okay. One, One, two, two three. three. Oh, man. There's nothing in there. Oh, man. I don't know what that's all about there. Ah! Oh, it's just me uh, and you. Okay. Ah! Oh, oh, no! That's something scary. Somebody left oh, in there. No. Better close the lid on that bad boy right there, huh? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, somebody left okay. something in there not too pretty. All right. We better get a move on. Keep okay. checking out this place, okay? Moving and grooving. Okay, here we go. Let's go right. Yeah, right. It looks like the left has just got a wall here. Okay. Oh, look at this bedroom. Yeah, it's a scary looking room here, isn't it? Yeah. the raptor. I think it was the raptor. I think it's through this room. Yeah. Okay, we'll have to get through here. Okay. It is kind of scary looking. So I'll tell you what, why don't you go through first and make sure that it's all clear, okay? And then okay. I'll, I'll come after you, okay? You better go into your Mission Impossible mode, okay? Okay, just what I was thinking. Okay, I'll back you up, okay? Okay. You ready? Okay, here we go. Dun, 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 Okay, man, you need a little more mission and a little less impossible, okay? Watch out. Make sure there's no booty traps anywhere. Oh, no. Booty okay. traps. All right. Is it all clear? Yeah. No, it's my turn. Oh, today. no, I put it in flash. Watch my mission impossible here. Okay, here we go. Okay. Where'd my hat go? All right. Oh. Okay. Oh. You ready to open this door up? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here you go. One, One two, two, three. Oh. oh, man. Okay. Gentle this time. Okay. Right. Carefully. Okay. All right. Do you see anything in here? No. 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 Nothing in there. Uh, okay. Wait a minute. Look over there. You see that door open? Yep, I see it all right. It's the end of the house. Yeah. That's got to be it. Come on, let's go. Careful now. Okay. Okay, you open it. Why do I got to open it? Because you've opened every single one today. Okay. All right, fine, I'll open it. And because it's Wednesday. Okay, here we go. And... Gotcha, Raptor! Oh! Whew. Oh, boy. Raptor's not in there. Nothing could survive that stench, huh? Oh. Okay. Look! It's a moving lump! It is! I think that's the raptor. I think it is the raptor, you're right. I think it's there. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Yeah. Let's go shake on the raptor. Come on, here we go. Here we go. Come on. The sleepy door blasted. Come on, take this. Come on, now it's jammed. Whew. Hey, it stopped moving. I think we got it. Okay. See if this thing's asleep. Yeah, it's asleep. Okay, here's what we we'll do. Let's scoop up the blanket. We'll wrap up the raptor. We'll carry it out to the Jeep, okay? Wait one second. I gotta find out something. That's a raptor all right. Okay, come on. Here, here, get, get the blanket. Come on, hurry, lift. Oh. oh, wait. That's on your side. Here, I'll come around and help. Oh. It's heavy. Here, 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 here we go. Here we go. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. I do that raptor. It's so heavy. Here. Oh, where'd you go? Oh, oh, it here. Okay. Oh. Oh. here we go. Got it. Oh, Ooh, look out there. Don't wake it up. Elbow. Don't wake it up. Here we go. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Oh, man, this thing is heavy. Okay, be careful. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. All right, we'll go out the door now, right? Okay. Here. Ooh. 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 Okay. Ah, I'm out. Oh, okay. Here, come on, get up. Get up. Oh, my leg. oh no, no. There we go. Close the door behind me. Okay. Close it. Watch out for the steps here. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, man, this thing is heavy. Oh, boy. Hope it doesn't wake up before we get to the Jeep. Okay, here we go. We're, we're already okay. at the Jeep. Yeah, I know. Okay. On count of three, let's toss in. One, two, two three. Okay. Oh, no. Quick, close the button. Okay. Let's get out of here, man. Oh, man. 
Are you okay, Park Ranger Darren? No, I spilled coffee on the computer and now all the park cameras are down. Can you go guard the front gate until I get them back up? You know how finicky the fence can be and I want to be extra safe. I really need to get a spill-proof mug. Sort of like a sippy cup for adults? Yeah. Sort of. Okay, off to guard duty. This is boring. I should have brought a snack. I have a snack for you. Ah! How'd you get here? I didn't even hear you. I have a light step. So I'm selling grocery cookies if you're hungry for a snack. Uh, I'm not supposed to let anybody in right now. And I don't have any money. Um, uh, well the first box is free. Uh-huh. I'll just hand them to you and then go. Free? I love free cookies. Okay, but only for one second. Park Ranger Darren, I have some free cookies. I repeat, I have some free cookies. Come and eat. How did you turn off the... Wait, did you say free cookies? I'm coming. Huh? Where'd she go? Uh-oh. She's gone? That is so strange. And it's not even the season for girl troop cookies. What's that? I, a watch? GW. Hmm. Oh no! Gadget, Gadget wizard! wizard! Come on, we better go find her before she gets into too much trouble. She's good. Darn tootin'. <laughs> some cookies for some photos. <laughs> Here you go. I can't wait to post these online and make everyone jealous. <laughs> cookies for you and cookies for you. Everyone gets cookies. Okay, I'm getting something. I think it's her footsteps. They're getting closer. Are you getting anything on the dino tracker? Nope. There it is again. Uh, I think those are your footsteps. Mine? Yup, they're mine. You don't have a light step. That was definitely not me. <gasps> oh no, what happened? She looks sick. And there's vomit over there. This triceratops must have a tummy ache. From what? We didn't even feed the dinos yet. Oof. Cookies. It looks like Olivia's been feeding them on her own. And some of these dinos can't eat cookies. It makes them sick. Yeah, or maybe they ate too many of them. That happened to me once. Well, we better stop this cookie party soon, or we'll have a lot more dinos with tummy aches. Let me see. I think I can reverse this. Olivia, if you can hear me, stop giving the dinos cookies. It's making them sick. I repeat, cookies are making the dinos sick. Barf alert, barf alert. Dino barf alert. Making them sick? But these are just tiny little cookies, and those are huge dinosaurs. <laughs> They're just saying that so they can make me come back so they can kick me out. <laughs> Um, maybe I'll just double check. Can you go get the dino tummy medicine from the supply kit? Yup, I'm on it. Silly cookie. From now on, I'm eating vegetables! Those veggies better watch out. 
All right, time to get my laser mover to get this Triceratops over into some cover. There we go, girl. Right there. Them. Really, I just wanted to take a photo. How can I fix it? Well, Park Ranger Asher is gonna go get some dino medicine. But in the meantime, did you throw any more cookies around? Oh, yeah, a lot of them. Well, then I guess you're going cookie hunting. Okay. Wait a minute. I know how we can find them fast. Oh, is that our fossil finder? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I was trying to find a fossil. You know, to keep it a souvenir. Anyways, I can reprogram this to detect sugar instead. Wow, that was fast. I'm an honor student. Okay, you go find the rest of the cookies. We'll get the ones here and tend to the sick dinos. All right, gadget wizard, to the rescue! Come on, I know there's some around here somewhere. <gasps> Aha! Found you. Just one more area to check. Here comes the gadget wizard. That's a lot of cookies. No wonder this dino's sick. Ooh, we better hurry or we're gonna have a lot more sick dinos on our hands. I got the medicine. Ew, more barf. Unfortunately, yes. Two jars. Oh, that's right. One of them's expired, but I don't remember which one. Taste test? I guess we'll have to. The fresh one will taste like grape. The expired one will taste, well, like rotten grape. Yuck! Have fun! Yeah, this is definitely the expired one. All right, that's the fresh one. You better throw one into her mouth. I don't want to do it, you do it! I don't want to do it, you do it! I can't, I can't, it's too gross! Well, we got to give her the medicine somehow. Let's see if Park Ranger LB has anything we can use. Hey, Park Ranger LB here! Hey, Park Ranger LB. We have some sick dinos here, and we were wondering if you have anything we can use to give them their medicine. And we don't want to get too close, because what if she throws up while we give her the medicine? Oh, no. I'll send you something that can help. Cool. Thanks, Park Ranger LB. No problem. See ya. Cool, a slingshot. Oh, well, that makes sense. Uh, let's get a little closer. I can smell it from here. Yeah, you better make this quick. Ooh, nice shot. Right into her mouth. She's chewing. She swallowed it. Mm, awesome. <laughs> She's starting to feel better. <laughs> but I'm not. I'll be right back. You take care of any more sick dinos. <laughs> okay, but do you want a fresh? Oh. Okay, I tried. Aha! Yes! Gotcha! Only one last cookie to go. And this is the part that I walked, so it should be around here somewhere. Where could it be? <gasps> Eat that, 
You're gonna get a stomach ache! Nothing. been taken care of. Did Olivia finish collecting cookies? Yes, T-Rex! Ah! I guess she's not used to running from T-Rexes. Definitely not. Here's the cookies. Aha! Oh! She forgot her camera. Perfect! I guess we can delete those photos she took. Oh, and you know what? I forgot to give her her watch back. Oh well. I guess she'll be back on the ranch sooner or later. Here you go, partner. Cheers! Mmm. Mmm. Well, we better go clean up some dino throw-up. And some human throw-up, too. Hey, wait for me! You're getting all this sound? Yes, I am! Looks like we finally found the legendary word I know! Run! Three hours earlier. I proudly present to you the newest addition to T-Rex Ranch. <clears throat> Drum roll, please. The latest in fresh storage technology. Cool. Is it a robot? What? No, it's a mini fridge. That's all? Just a mini fridge? For Grangers, this is a very exciting development. We can use it to store specimens in the field, baby dino treats, and most importantly, lunch. It's like the inside of a trash can, but cold. Oh, horse feathers. Somebody drank my juice box and ate my sardine sandwich. Who would do that? Nobody I know. Really? Nobody you know? Hey, don't look at me. I bring my own lunch. What about you, Greenhorn? I'm sorry, I have no idea. <sighs> No, I apologize. The temper's a bit short today because I slept poorly. And I lost my hat, which is odd because I usually wear it to sleep. That is odd. Right? Then somebody steals my lunch, and to top it all off, I've got these scratch marks up and down my arms, and I don't know why. Hmm. Do you own a cat? Does anybody ever really own a cat? Hey, what's going on? Well, you're just in time for some pretty big news. Go ahead, Sam. Oh, okay. Park Ranger Orson bought a new fridge that looks like a robot, but it's not. Also, someone stole his lunch. <laughs> See for yourself. I'd ask that you avoid touching anything. This is a crime scene now. Ew, what is that smell? Sardines. <laughs> Just don't know who else with access to the mini fridge and an insatiable appetite would do such a thing. Was it one of you? I don't think they like sardines either. Then it looks like we got ourselves a good old fashioned mystery. The case of the I solved the mystery! It's obviously the Ware Dino. Uh, what's a Ware Dino? I'm glad you asked! The Ware Dino is a legendary beast inside T-Rex Ranch. Every month, in the last three days of a full moon, 
The were dino's curse changes a man into a werewolf, and then the werewolf changes into a raptor! Roar! Uh -huh. We've been through this before, Asher. There's no such thing as a were dino. Are you sure? Every time something mysterious happens, Asher blames it on a were dino. Yeah, when our recycling bins got knocked over, Asher said it was the were dino. It was raccoons. Were raccoons! No. Well, whomever it was, they're not gonna get away with it twice. I'm gonna install surveillance cameras inside and outside Dino HQ and catch the thief in the act. After a very quick nap. Great! In the meantime, Sam and I will catch the Weird Dino ourselves, right? Oh, okay, sure. There's no such thing as a Weird Dino. I don't want to take anything off the table. Hello, Monster fans! This is Park Ranger Asher. And Park Ranger Sam. And we're in the Raptor Paddock, looking for a word dino. Sam and I put two word dino traps. Tell them, Sam. Trap A is a personal electro fence that activates whenever the were dino steps over it. And trap B is a net inside Dino HQ. If he escapes trap A, trap B will catch him for sure. Right now, we're looking for clues. Whoa, I think I found something. Property of Park Ranger Orson? Why would Orson's hat be out here? I slept poorly, and I lost my hat. I've got these scratch marks up and down my arms, and I don't know why! No way! Park Ranger Orson is the word I know! He is? It all makes sense. We found his hat in the woods, he has scratches on his arms, probably from running around the bushes, and he's tired from being out all night! <laughs> I am. Looks like we finally found the legendary word I know. Run! <laughs> you okay, Sam? I am. But phony baloney may never be the same. Asher. What if we lure the were diner to trap A using Orson's hat? Great idea, Sam! To trap A! To trap A! What now? Now we hide and wait. Any second now. This is so exciting. But wait, what if Orson really is the were dino? The electro fence won't hurt him, will it? Nah, probably not. Uh oh, what's he doing now? Where do you think he's going? To get a snack from his new fridge. <gasps> this is Park Ranger Asher to all available park rangers. A loose raptor, I mean were dino, is headed towards Dino HQ. And he may be armed with terrible sardine breath. Looks like he's here already. Oh boy. We did it. We caught the were dino. Asher, does the were dino wear pajamas? I'm not the were dino. That's just the kind of thing a were dino would say. Asher! We just corralled the rogue raptor you called in and put her back in the raptor paddock. It's a good thing we haven't left yet. Wait, if you just caught a raptor headed to Dino HQ, then that means... Uh-oh! Uh -oh. That means Park Ranger Orson isn't the were dino. Like I said... Then why are you in the were dino trap? I think I can explain. This is the surveillance video from last night. Th that's me. I'm, I'm sleepwalking. We see. Ouch! Uh. I had a dream last night that a raptor attacked me. Had to fend him off. Luckily, we found your hat. Hey! <laughs> Thank you.
Oh, so I was stealing my own lunch. I guess I owe everyone an apology. Well, I guess we proved that there's no such thing as a wear dino. Have we? Yes. yes! And that nobody likes starting sandwiches with Parker and Jorison. <laughs> it's so hot! Will this heat wave never end? Can we at least go under some shade? Just a few more feet. We can go back inside once we try my new gadget. Uh, I feel like a vampire. I proudly present my latest invention, the Veggie Mixer 6000. Uh, that's not the invention we need. We, we need a fan or an air conditioner or a fan with an air conditioner on it or an air conditioner with a fan in it that blows cold air to an air conditioned fan. Actually, we do need it because now rappers will only eat fried chicken. Yeah, ever since they stole our fried chicken from our last picnic. Can't really blame them though. True, but it's not very good for you, which is why you use the veggie fixer to make them healthy again. Demonstrate. First, you grab your broccoli, place it into here, turn the knob, and then press the button. Voila! Fried chicken! Well, how be? Ugh. Ugh. Smells like broccoli. Well, it looks like fried chicken, which means the raptor will eat it before they knew they had a healthy meal. Uh, even I wouldn't fall for that, and I have the world's record for gullibility. Well, at least that's what they tell me. Ashley, uh, I think you should go back to Dino HQ and watch the baby dinos. I can finish this on my own. Good plan. I am most helpful when I'm not around to help. See you later. It does smell like broccoli. Oh, it's so hot out there. If it gets any hotter, I'm a scream. 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 No, I scream. What a brilliant idea. I scream. I scream. Oh, nothing better on a hot day than a good old-fashioned bowl of ice cream. Ooh, looks delicious. <laughs> oh, hi, Sneaker. You want some ice cream, too? I'm not sure I should give a baby dino ice cream. What would Park Ranger Asher say? Don't give baby dinos ice cream. Yeah, I don't like that answer, either. Let me try to imagine it again. Go ahead, give the baby dino ice cream. Eh, that's much better. Hey, that's not what it said. Uh, no time to argue, gotta go ice cream melting. <laughs> okay, Sneaka, let me get you some ice cream. Raptor's approaching the food. He's taking it. No, he's not. He's smelling something else. And he's running away. Something else caught his attention. Wonder what? This is a scoop of ice cream. Delicious. Refreshing. <gasps> I'm coming, I'm coming. Almost done. Little spoon. Put the lid on. And put the ice cream back in the freezer. Here we go. A night. Bowl of ice cream. Hey, who ate the ice cream? Did you eat the ice cream? No, you couldn't get up there. Huh, is it possible I ate it and I don't remember? Seems possible to me. Hmm. Well, if I ate it and I don't remember, then it doesn't count. Time for more ice cream. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And there we went. 
go, oh, oh, look at this. This is a scoop of ice cream. Delicious. It's gonna be so good. I hope I remember eating it this time. Woohoo! Perfect. Put a little spoon in and you know. Could really use some sprinkles. No. Why don't I carry sprinkles on me? All right, next time, I'll put that on the list. <laughs> and... What the? Now I know I did not eat that bowl of ice cream. Did I? Hey, did you eat the ice cream in that bowl? How? I'm in your imagination. Hey, I'm not accusing, I'm just asking. Just get more ice cream. That's the best idea you had all day. At least you're not trying to talk me into eating that broccoli fried chicken like you are those raptors. No, there's no signs of raptors at all. Maybe Park Ranger Andy was right. Maybe it's not too hot to do it today. Where could they possibly be going? <laughs> now I specifically remember not eating that one. We have an ice cream eater around here somewhere. Oh, we'll be eating all of my ice cream. Can I finish? Can I, you know? From your back so soon. Yeah, the raptors wouldn't eat any of my broccoli fried chicken. Probably because it's so hot. It is, but is it hot enough to steal a baby dino's ice cream? What are you talking about? Let me smell your breath. Does it smell like ice cream? That's because I didn't have any. Does it make sense? Look, I come over here and I take an empty bowl. And I bring the empty bowl to the freezer. And I take out the ice cream. Put the ice cream down on the counter. And I take the ice cream scoop. And I scoop us some ice cream. Ooh, look at that ice cream. I don't lick the spoon, even though I really want to. Fill up the bowl. And then put the lid back on the ice cream. And I put it back. And now I have my delicious bowl of ice cream, and I walk it over to the table, and look, the ice cream's gone! What? It's just gone? Like that? It's just like that! Who is stealing all our ice cream? I'm not so sure. That means we have to solve this problem scientifically. Does that involve eating ice cream? No, but it does include bait and observing, just like I did with the raptors and my Veggie Fixer 6000. That's not as fun as eating ice cream. First of all, we need more ice cream. Way ahead of you. Hey, ice cream service. That's your service. Hey, hey, thanks a lot, my friend. Good to see ya. You think that's safe? Getting a delivery guy to a secret ranch? Did you see that guy's face? Looked trustworthy to me. If you say so. Now. For step one, set the trap. Step two, hide and watch. Mm, I would love an ice cream sundae. Huh, but today's Friday. So? So if you want ice cream sundae, you gotta wait two more days. How about we just observe in silence? It's an ice cream of That's 
why they're not eating from my invention. Because you stuffed them with ice cream. And they didn't even thank me. How many of them you think there are? Let's look. Let's go. Maybe we should just give them ice cream. Maybe you're right. But now we're out of ice cream. Way ahead of you. Ice cream delivery. Five minutes or it's free. Here you go. Thank you. My pleasure. And by the way, you got a lot of ruptures out here. Uh, you trust that delivery guy? He looks honest to me. Now, how about some ice cream? Here you go. <laughs> Are you sure it's okay to get baby Dino's ice cream? Well, if it's okay for Rogers, then it's probably okay for a baby pair of Sorolfus. Eat up. That's it. I'll use the Veggie Face for 6,000, but change broccoli into ice cream. I knew you'd figure it out. Now can we please eat our ice cream? I've been waiting for this all day. Sure. I'm excited for ice cream too. Hey, what about me? Yeah, what about him? And get me some too, please. Previously on T-Rex Ranch. But we shouldn't bother Orson while he's on vacation. Our golden dino egg isn't hatching, and we're wondering if there's actually a baby dino inside. Or if it's one of your tricks again. If you place an egg at the center of the mystical dino spiral, a full-grown dinosaur will appear inside the egg. Sounds easy enough. You say that, but first you must complete three trials. Cross the lake of fire, bow to the Patanosaurus guardian, win a staring contest with the Stegosaurus. <laughs> This is the cutest one yet! Oh. M. Goodness. I can't believe the Lake of Fire is real. And the bridge is gone! What do we do? Lava's not in the Park Ranger handbook. First off, we don't panic. Let's put on our thinking caps. I just need them to walk over the lava. You've got to me. You can't be too careful about the lava. I did it! I figured it out! You did? The lava is not real, just like at the ranger station. It's just another one of Dynamaster's tricks. Asher, I don't know if this is a good idea. Trust me. Nice work, Park Ranger! Told ya! <laughs> yeah, and here's something I don't say very often. You were right. I'm so glad to be in headquarters. You said it. All I know is I'm gonna have a word with the Dino Master next time I see him. And what word will that be, Park Ranger Bella? I'm very curious. Lava. Yes, of course. Well, nobody's in Fuego, so I'm guessing you've all passed my lake of fire. But who figured out that little puzzle? I did. Well done, Park Ranger Asher. Clever and brave. It's a rare combination. What do you want, Dino Master? Oh, you know. Chaos, confusion, a decent grocery store cookie, the same as everyone else. But mostly, my precious baby Triceratops and your backpack. No way. Besides, you're just a hologram. You can't even do anything. Fair point. I personally can't take the baby try off your hands because I'm banned from T-Rex Ranch. But I've sent someone who can. Should I answer it? Go ahead, Park Rangers. It'll be a fun surprise.
Is she okay? Park Rangers, meet my latest and greatest invention. The secret autonomous machine. I call her Sam for short. Oh, and do me a favor. Don't pull her finger. <laughs> Ew, nothing gross. Wait, are you saying that she's a robot? Ding, ding, ding. Tell her what she's won, Sam. You have one hour to hand over the baby Triceratops, or I am going to self-destruct. Lovely day for a walk, isn't it, friends? Come on now, single file line, please. All right, that's back. <laughs> Baby Triceratops now. I have to bring her back to the Dino Master. If he's already in the bag, you can just hand it to me and I'll be on my way. All right, no rushing, no pushing. <laughs> Who do we have here? I'm Sam. She's a robot. A secret autonomous machine. Sent by the Dino Master. To steal our baby Tri. Or else she'll self-destruct. In 45 minutes. <laughs> oh, you believe her. Look, Sam. We know you're not a robot, and I don't know how you got mixed up with the Dino Master, but we're gonna lead you to the gate and say our goodbyes now. How do you know I'm not a robot? Yeah, how do you know? Because no one can make a robot that looks and acts like a kid. Robots nowadays look like dogs and dance to Motown. What if I proved it to you? Sure, why not? See that big rock? I'm going to run there and back as fast as I can. Whenever you're ready. That was amazing. Can you go even faster? If I want to. Look, that was uh, very speedy, and I sure hope you're part of a local track and field club, but... Uh, what is that? For the sound of the falls? A T-Rex. Definitely a T-Rex. Which means we should probably get out of here. I can't tell where she's coming from. My adrenaline levels are in the red. This is very exciting. Do you think she's hungry? Are you hungry? Uh-huh. That's a sharp little beak you've got there. Are you okay? Don't you have some sort of a gadget or a blaster you can use? Yes, I do. You have an onboard dino freeze ray. That's amazing. Okay, now I believe Sam's a robot. Good, because you have 23 minutes left before I go. All right, Sam, have a seat. Sure, but there are 30 seconds left before I go boom, unless you give me that baby dino to take back to the Dino Master. And just so you don't forget, I will activate a terrifying alarm. Terrifying alarm. Terrifying alarm. What happened? <gasps> That's why the Dino Master said to not pull her finger, because then she'll shut down. Normally I'd say avoid pulling anyone's finger, but in this case I'd say it was the right decision. But the Dino Master's going to be wondering why Sam isn't back yet. She has to have some sort of control panel. Found it. I 
can do a reboot or a full factory reset and set her to Dino Master's henchman, Robo Girl, or Real Girl. How about Real Girl? I will miss her eyeball lasers. Wait, what? Tell you later. Here goes nothing. Hi, I'm Sam. Hi, Sam. I'm Maisie. This is Asher, Orson, and Bella. And we are the T-Rex Ranch Park Rangers. Nice to meet you all. Uh, did I say my name was Sam? Yeah. Good. I can be very forgetful. Hello again, Park Rangers. I assume Sam is on her way with... Sam? What are you still doing there? Do I found my baby Triceratops? Who's the dude in the cape? That's the Dino Master. He's our bad guy. <laughs> You turned my creation against me. What's a guy gonna do to catch a break around here? Come on, it's getting ridiculous. He's very dramatic. Oscar winning. Okay, Sam. You're a secret autonomous machine who no longer has to report to the Dino Master. So the question is, what do you want to do? Can I stay here? I like your uniforms. You. Thanks. How do you feel? I feel like I've had a very long day. Do you ever feel like that? Boy, have we. What's <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> your favorite dinosaur to feed? Well, I like the Stegosaurus because it's so gentle and eats the veggies right out of your hand. Yeah. Well, how about your least favorite dinosaur to feed? Oh, I've got to say the raptors. They look at you with those claws like your dinner. Yeah, and I feel like if they ate you, they would burp after. Rude and scary. Mm. That's why I brought us here to the Ojai Raptors. Oh, raptors! It's okay, it's okay. We're going to learn. We're going to learn about raptors today and we're going to learn maybe how to take care of them. But when we go back to the T-Rex range, okay. all right? Yeah. It's fine. Let's go. Oh, hi. Hi. Hi, Park Ranger Andy. Hi. This is Park Ranger AJ. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you both. I'm Jacqueline from the Ojai Raptor Center. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're a wildlife rehabilitation facility. Specialize in wildlife, but raptors specifically. And we take in about a thousand injured, sick, and orphan raptors a year. And as wildlife rehabilitators, our main goal is to make them well again and release them back to the wild where they belong. Back into the wild? All those raptors? Out in the wild? Uh, um, yeah, birds of prey. All right! Birds! Of course you're talking about birds, yeah. right? Yeah. We know you're not talking about dinosaurs. Yeah, That'd be ridiculous no if you're talking about dinosaurs. You can't yeah. release them out in the wild. They'd have to be in like a ranch or something. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't exist though, right? Right. So yeah, we consider owls, hawks, falcons, eagles, and vultures here. We consider all of those birds to be raptors. So actually, we're getting into our busiest season here in all of wildlife rehabilitation where we receive lots of babies that have been separated from their parents. Usually their nests have been destroyed and they need to be raised by people in captivity. But we have to make sure that they maintain their natural fear of humans in order for them to be successful once we release them back to the wild. So we have to make sure they don't become too comfortable with humans or see humans as their friends or anything. So so we cover our features, we disguise ourselves, and we feed them actually with a fake owl so they never get too used to humans. Do you guys want to help me feed the orphans? Yeah, yeah. I love playing dress up. Okay, here are your suits. So you're gonna put these on because again, these are not pets, these are wild animals, and we have to make sure that the baby owls don't get used to seeing people. So we're gonna put these on to disguise our features, and then we're gonna go feed the baby owls little pieces of food because they're too young to eat by themselves. Okay. This will be easy peasy. Yeah. Okay, Ranger AJ, you look like you're all set. You got your GLA suit on. Yes. Ready to go inside the hospital and feed? Yeah. Okay, we have to make sure that we're very, very quiet when we go inside the hospital, okay? Yeah. Okay, ready? Let's go. I'll be right behind you. And I'll be really quiet.
unfortunately not releasable to the wild and we train them to become ambassadors for their species. So would you like to meet some of our non-releasable ambassador raptors? I would love to. I'd love to see yeah. something. I can't see anything. Hi AJ. Hi Andy. Hi. I'm Kimberly here with our ambassador brewing, Al Topper. Hi Topper. Hi Topper. Baby? No, actually, he's full grown. He's about seven years old. As with dinosaurs, raptors come in all shapes and sizes. And as a matter of fact, about half of the owls in North America are small owls, like Topper or even smaller. His eyes just pierce right through your soul. I know, his eyes are pretty amazing, right? All raptor eyes are pretty amazing. Amazing. I've never seen that color yellow on an eye before. And actually, some of the things in his eyes are related to why we have Topper. What do you mean? So, well, with all of our ambassadors, they can't survive in the wild. That's why they live with us as ambassadors. And Topper came to us after having a head injury, and he has some damage to his eyes as well. That's why he can't survive in the wild. So he's a owl? Yes, he is. What does that mean? Well, although we think of most birds and most owls living mostly in the sky or up high in trees, these guys spend most of their life on the ground, and they actually nest underground. Although these guys are a predator like other raptors, the small raptors are both predator and prey. So basically anything big enough to hunt him, including other raptors, will hunt them. They're also endangered by dogs, feral cats, raccoons, and snakes. So they actually have a super cool way to help protect themselves from predators. When they're feeling threatened or when the babies are in the burrow and feel threatened, they actually make a sound like a rattlesnake. And that wards off most predators. And for the babies, it makes their parents come back home to protect them. So if there's a fight between the owl and a rattlesnake, who's gonna win? Well, that's a tough call. A burrowing owl couldn't actually fight off a rattlesnake the way that a red-tailed hawk or a great horned owl could catch one, but they might be able to ward it off with their snake sounds and otherwise just um, do something that's called mobbing when they fly at a potential predator to just scare it off. Are they friendly with other owls of their same kind? That's a great question. I think it. So because many of their hosts live in colonies, burrowing owls tend to also be colonial. So they can nest just with one pair, but in the past they've actually had populations of thousands of burrowing owls in one place because we had such huge colonies of prairie dogs. Is it true owls can spin their heads all the way around? Well, they can't quite spin their heads 360 degrees all the way around. However, owls and other raptors can look completely over their shoulder. So Topper can turn his head um, from looking straight at you all the way to looking over his shoulder. It's about 140 degrees. Well, Topper's getting a little tired, so I need to take him home. But Jacqueline is ready to introduce you to another of our super cool ambassador raptors. I think you're going to love it. Well, I'll be glad to see it. So what's the owl thing? Who? The owl. Who? I'm asking about the owl. Who? <sighs> the owl says who? Says what? Who? What? Who? I don't get it. Good job. This is Rosie, and she is our non-releasable red-tailed hawk ambassador. Why did you guys name her Rosie? That's a good question. So we named Rosie Rosie because her beautiful red tail, that red-tailed hawks, which is her species, what they're known for. A little side note for you, red-tailed hawks don't actually get their red tail until they're about two years old or just before, once they become mature. So if you see a juvenile red-tailed hawk, they'll have a brown and tan striped tail. You know, I named my bathtub Rosie. Why'd you name your bathtub Rosie? Well, every time I don't clean it, I get a ring around the Rosie. 
We've had Rosie for 17 years. She came to us when she was only one years old, so she was a juvenile with a broken wing in her right wing, actually, in her shoulder. She can't fly well enough to be released to the wild, so that's why we have her. I think there's some confusion about velociraptors and raptors. Raptors are birds of prey. So it's a group of different birds that are predators and they're hunters and they have sharp hooked beaks and claw-like talons that allow them to hunt and eat other animals. So here at the Raptor Center, we consider hawks, falcons, eagles, owls, and vultures all to be raptors. So they lay eggs like dinosaurs. Yes, exactly. They lay eggs just like dinosaurs. Velociraptors are dinosaurs that were really small and fast that lived between 70 and 90 million years ago. And when paleontologists discovered their fossils for the first time in about the 1920s, they named them velociraptors, which that word actually translates to fast birds of prey, because anatomically or structurally, they're really similar to modern birds of prey, specifically that sharp hooked talon that velociraptors had in their hind foot. But velociraptors were always dinosaurs and raptors were always birds of prey. All birds have actually evolved from dinosaurs. So during the Cretaceous period, this is when most dinosaurs went extinct, there was a very small number of avian dinosaurs, basically bird-like dinosaurs of the theropod group of dinosaurs. So actually T-Rex was in this group, but only the small theropods survived into the almost 11,000 species of birds that we have on our planet today. Did they evolve from meat-eating dinosaurs? Yes, they did. Velociraptors were meat-eating predators like modern-day birds of prey. So we only eat meat. These birds only eat meat. They cannot process anything else. So they are only able to digest raw meat. No veggies. Bird after my own heart. Right. No veggies. They must be similar to dinosaurs in other ways then. Some dinosaurs supposedly had feathers. Yes. Velociraptors and theropods definitely had feathers, and they're starting to think that perhaps all dinosaurs had feathers, as a matter of fact, although none of them actually use them to fly. Like chickens. Exactly. Well, chickens can fly a little bit. Yeah, chickens can fly if they need to. Penguins. Like penguins, exactly. Yes, to keep them warm, but not really for the function of flight. So they have hollow bones, like the Allosaurus. That's a very good question, yes. So really all flighted birds have hollow bones. So larger birds that don't fly and even smaller birds like penguins, birds that don't fly have fused bones that are filled with marrow and blood just like ours. But all birds that fly have hollow or pneumatic bones and their dinosaur ancestors did as well. So thanks so much for coming today. I hope you guys learned something new. We, we learned, learned so, much. so much. Thank you for having us. Thanks. Was that a rattlesnake? Or a burrowing owl. I don't know, but I don't want to find out. Well, if we are, we're using your legs. My legs? It's not fair. Goodbye, thanks a lot. <laughs> Park Ranger White to Dino HQ. Help, I repeat, help. 43 minutes earlier. Good hustle, Park Ranger Wyatt. Thanks, Park Ranger Orson. Capturing a flag with raptors is terrifying. No, oh, I know, but you're doing great. All right, so, Team Raptor's ahead by one point, but you got this. Really? Of course. And sure, the raptors have a slight advantage, what with their incredible leg strength and super speed. The Park Rangers have one big advantage. We do. Of course. Park Rangers never give up. I'd prefer super speed. They're so peaceful now. Yeah, and all it took was six stories, eight lullabies, and ten bottles. Eleven. At least they're finally asleep. Sorry, so sorry. I'll pick up all the bottles. 
We'll fill them back up with milk. Why is having a more exciting day? All right, here's the game plan. While I draw out the raptors, you go in there like you own the place and capture that flag. Um, okay. If things get hairy, just give me the signal and I'll turn on this personal electro fence to keep you safe. Wanna see? Whoa. Awesome! Can we keep it on the whole time? Sue yourself. on you, I promise you that. So come over here, I got a few rules I forgot to tell you. Come on, let's go. Yeah, there we go, come on. Over this way, do not look behind you at all. No, no, come here, keep going, that's right, all right. Got it. That's what I like to see. Over here, come on, yeah, that's right. Don't look behind you. Plenty of fun before you showed up. Yes, I did that a lot, but you guys seem like you would need a little bit of a challenge. And what better challenge than a friendly game of hide and seek? Hide and seek? Please. That game is for babies. Let's think about this logically. Babies cry for a reason, right? I know. I just wish I knew what they were saying. Maybe we can't find out what they're saying. Yoo-hoo, Alexa. Yes, Park Ranger Asher? Translate baby dino cries. Translating. Hungry, hungry, hungry. Hungry? But they drank a gallon of milk each. Erexa. Yes. Are you sure? Translating. Hungry, hungry, hungry. Poop. Oh. Ah. They just need to go potty. They already did. <laughs> yeah. Please, Park Rangers, it's more than a game of just hide and seek. In my version, there's more seeking for a new dino egg. A 
I'll even help you two out. As you get closer to the egg, I'll say hurt. And as you get farther away, I'll say... Hold. Now, Bridget, classic misdirect. <laughs> he is very dramatic. So can we play? Please? I'm on record saying this is a bad idea. Yes! Come on. Chili? Bridget? Ice cold! Lukewarm? Warmish? Hot? Boiling! Fire! Goodbye, Park Rangers. Don't get burned! <laughs> Over here. Well, I'll be a dino's uncle. The dino master led us to an egg. More like hide and sneak, am I right? Good luck getting out now. Sincerely, the dino master. <laughs> At least he's polite. What does he mean by good luck getting out? The electromagnetic fence isn't working. The Dynamaster must have let us outside the useful gadget perimeter. Park Ranger White to Dino HQ. Help! I repeat, help! This is Park Ranger Asher. Come in! Asher! None of our gadgets work and we got a couple raptors all up in our business. Oh, I think I can help! On it! You, Rexa! Translate this! Translating. Flag. 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 Flag? That's weird. I'm sorry, Wyatt. Arexa translated the raptor grouse into flag, flag. I guess her translator doesn't work very well. Actually, I think she translated perfectly. Thanks, Park Ranger Asher. Over and out. She thinks we're still playing. Well done, Park Ranger. like the raptors one after all. But you, my friend, never gave up. For that reason, I present to you the Raptor Captor Park Ranger Achievement Badge. Thanks. Is there a hide and seek badge too? Don't push it, Park Ranger. Park Ranger Andy? You out here? I need to borrow a dino gadget. Hello? That was a close one. Hey, hello there, Park Ranger AJ. Sorry about that uh, terrifying pteranodon encounter. It's okay. I'm sad I didn't turn into a pteranodon takeout. What are you doing anyway? Oh, I'm trying to win the bet we made. Remember you said I couldn't train a dinosaur to do a trick? But if I did, that you would do my chores for a week? Oh, I remember. And I'm not worried. But speaking of chores, have you seen the task matic Oh, yeah. It's right here in the T-Rex 1. My new favorite gadget. Great. I'm going to use it on the mini fridge back at Dino HQ. Hasn't been cleaned in weeks, and I'm pretty sure I heard something knocking on the inside. Yeah, just be careful with this. This Tascomatic doesn't work exactly as you want. Thanks for the tip. And good luck winning that bet. You're gonna need it. Luck. I need no luck. This is it. I can feel it in my bones. Okay, you ready? And catch! The 
right? Try it again. And catch! Ugh. Ugh. Okay. It's been a while since I cleaned this thing. Just gotta prepare myself. What could be in there? Expired milk, a couple of smelly eggs. You know what? I bet it won't be that bad. Oh, I forgot about the tuna sandwich. Why would I do that? All right, all I gotta do is press this button and tell the task matic what I wanted to do, and it should take care of the rest. task matic please clean the mini fridge. Wow! Wait, but you made all the food inside disappear. I wanted to try Sarah Pop. Okay. 57th time's a charm. Hey, Park Ranger Andy, you were right about this task, Maddie. It only kind of did what I asked. See, I tried to tell you. <laughs> no! No, wait, come back! Okay, I'll come back. No, not you. Stand by. I mean, he's right. Yeah, I can't teach Dino a trick. That means I'm gonna lose the bet. I'm gonna have to do all his chores. Unless all his chores are already done. So there's no more chores left to do. Hey, you still there? Oh, oh yeah, I'm here. Hey, buddy, uh, we need to double check that Tascomatic and see why it doesn't work quite right. You know, maybe we should try it on a couple of chores. A couple of tasks. Like what? Well, we have dishes to do. We gotta untangle the fishing pole. You know what? I think I'll give you a list. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Park Ranger AJ, over and out. Perfect, I believe in you. Okay, now, back to the matter at hand. So I could still win this bet. Now, even though I can't teach a pterodon how to catch a fish, <gasps> Maybe I could teach a different dinosaur a different trick. Yes! Let's try this one. Taskomatic, please make a pot of coffee. Oh. Well, it's not not what I said. Okay, Rexy, go long. All right, all right, good effort. You want to try it again? Okay, okay, I hear you loud and clear. Taskomatic, please make these pictures look even. Limbo! How low can I go? Ah! See? Piece of cake! Now you try! Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, you're doing it! Go Limbo! Oh. Okay. Taskomatic. Please solve Andy's Rubik's Cube so everyone will think he's smart. Okay, fine. Be that way. I'll do it. No sweat. Okay, Toppy. And catch! Brought that from home. Okay, looks like there's only one task left. Clean up the dino poop. Huh? What dino poop? Oh, come on, dinos. Okay, gotta be as specific as possible. Taskomatic, please clean up the dinosaur poop from my left shoe. Wow, nice work, Taskomatic. <laughs> okay, let's do a real easy one. Roll over. 
That was a long shot. Looks like I'm gonna lose this bet to AJ. I better check up on my backup plan. Hey, Park Ranger AJ. I'm just checking in on the Tasco-matic, seeing how it took care of all the chores. I mean, tasks. It took a few tries, but I think I figured it out. I finished your whole list. No. Oh, well, it turns out that I'm not really able to teach a dino a trick, so I guess I lost a bet and I have to do all your chores. But it sounds like all oh, your chores are already done. Aww. Hold on. If you can't teach a dino to do a trick, I might know someone else who can. Oh, yeah? Boom. Hey, Park Ranger AJ? Yeah? What are we looking for? You'll see. Any teeny tiny dinos want to learn a cool new trick? A Patinosaurus! <sighs> okay, Tesco Matic. Please tell this. Wait! You have to be as specific as possible, otherwise there's no telling what could happen. All right, good point. Okay, tasko -matic. please teach this Patinosaurus how to speak when I say speak. What? I mean, I don't mean human English, I mean like dinosaur speak, like it can make whatever noise it wants. I, I can't believe it, the tasko could speak dinosaur. I mean, this is a huge breakthrough in human dino communications. Think of the possibilities. Did it work? I don't know. There's only one way to find out. Tinosaurus, speak! <gasps> yes! Amazing! And that means I won a bet after all. Now, hold on. The bet said if you could teach a dinosaur to do a trick, the task did all the work. Yeah, but I'm the one who told the task what to do. So it's basically the same thing. I know how we can settle this. task -matic, please tell us who won the bet. Oh no, we broke it! Well, uh, look at the bright side. At least the chores are done. Yeah, you tricked me! Tricked you? I would never trick you! I don't trick anybody! I don't like playing tricks! <gasps> look at that! Yeah. Oh, I fall for that one every time. Where did she go? I don't know, but we better find her before someone else does or they'll know that dinos still exist. Oh, maybe she went there. Oh yeah, maybe. It's so dark in here, I can't see anything. Where'd she go? We should split up. You go that way and I'll head this way. If you find her, you might need this. Yeah, what is it? Magnifying glass? Binoculars? Leash? A twig? It's your favorite snack. It is? Yeah. Can't see why. Okay. But I left you over there. It's a loop! A loop? Yeah, it just goes around and around. It all connects. All right, that makes sense, but where in the wide world of dino fossils are we? That's what I'm thinking. Hi, welcome to the Alchemy Museum of Paleontology. I'm Gabe, a paleontologist. Do you want me to show you around? Oh, uh, sure, yeah. Yeah, sure, we want to look around with no ulterior motives whatsoever. All right, cool. So, here at the ALF Museum, we talk about the great story of life on Earth. And that story is set into many different chapters. Here in the Precambrian, life wasn't as great. It wasn't a great environment for things to appear. But during this chapter in the Paleozoic, that's when we had the big explosion of life on Earth. And some of the first characters to appear in that story are things like this. This is Isotelus rex. 
and it is the most complete trilobite ever discovered by scientists. Over here, we have Dimetrodon. Dimetrodon might look like a dinosaur, but it's not. It is actually an ancient distant relative of mammals like us. Dimetrodon's not a dinosaur. What do we have a T-Rex right here? Did you hear that? I think so. Oh, uh, that's me clicking my, my pen. <laughs> he does that. Uh, shall we move on? Oh, we gotta keep an eye out for Sneaker. My lamps are wide open. <gasps> wow. The age of the dinosaur. And speaking of dinosaurs, we have one right here. This is Gryposaurus. Gryposaurus is a holotype. A holotype is the first of its kind ever described by science. This one is about 75 million years old, and it was found in Utah. And here's a baby Parasaurolophus. <laughs> baby Parasaurolophus? <laughs> I haven't seen a baby Parasaurolophus. Have you seen a baby Parasaurolophus? No, never in my life. What would you ask? I don't even know. <laughs> I'm talking about Joe, our complete baby Parasaurolophus fossil. Oh, right. That Parasaurolophus. That makes more sense. Yeah. Yeah, well, Joe's really cool because Joe's crest is actually part of its nose. When it blows air through its nose, it makes a sound like a trumpet. Interesting. Okay, well, how about we check out more dinosaurs? Sure! <laughs> and this here is the Tyrannosaurus rex. Its name means Tyrant Lizard King, and it was the apex predator 65 million years ago. What's really cool is that they regrew their teeth through their whole life, so they always had sharp teeth. We are very familiar with the T-Rex. Okay, well, do you want to check out my favorite era at the Cenozoic? Sure, I'll have to look at not? here. All right, come on. Any baby Parasaurolophus is hiding in here? Well, not unless they're invisible. And over here are one of my favorite fossils, this is a bronothier. Bronothier means thunder beast, and they might look like rhinos, but they're actually a close relative. Instead of a horn like rhinos have, they have these bony plates on their nose. Pretty interesting. Um, they're kind of herbivore, but do you want to see a Cenozoic carnivore? Sure. Uh -huh. All right, let's head that way. Okay. Oh, a giant alligator! Yeah, this is Porosaurus. It's a giant crocodile that existed in Brazil about 7 million years ago. And what's really cool about it is, is, is that they had these sharp teeth that they regrew through their whole life. Andy, cut it out. Not a good time. Uh, 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 you might have to the museum on our own. It's very explore. interesting, but we'd like to go check out yeah. some stuff on our own. Thank you so much. Yes. Of Oh, look at all these exhibits! Oh, man, if there's a place for her to sneak around, this is a good place to do it. Yeah. A lot of places for, to hide. Good for her. Bad for us. Oh, that's true. Okay. Here, baby dino! Here, baby dino! Baby, baby! If I was a baby parasaurologist, where would I be? It's only a skeleton. A vampire dog. They're nearly seven feet long with sharp wolf like teeth. They're carnivores and they have a bear shaped body and claws. Well, that's very terrifying. Did you hear that? Yeah, I think that's our baby dino. Came from over there. I'll go first. Go ahead. In a dino pig. What a mess! Someone or some dino has been rummaging through here. Oh, we're never gonna find her! Parker and Randy, let's think about this. How do you catch a dinosaur named Sneaka? By being sneakier than Sneaka is. Right you are, Parker and Andy. And what did we just learn about Parasaurolophus? Their crests are actually long noses capable of making different sounds depending on how they're shaped. So what if instead of chasing her, we called Sneaka to us? 
by using the noise that she would make. Exactly! Whoa! No, 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 not you using the Parasaurolophus sound boxes! I mean, I guess we could do that too. Yeah. Three, two, one. One, two, three! Not that, do it again. One, two, three! Look! Yeah! Oh! Yeah. Oh, here you go, Sneaker. Here you go. Sneak up on and have some of this delicious stick. So, do you have any questions about our Parasaurolophus sandbox? Uh, I don't think so. Seems to work perfectly as intended. <laughs> Why did that get you a bigger stick? There you are. 37 minutes earlier. I don't think he's gonna like those extra exclamation points. But it's not every day you get to celebrate someone's birthday. What if you know 365 people with different birthdays? Good point. And it means you'll never have to buy cake again. Speaking of cakes. It's supposed to be a Dimetrodon, which is Rosen's favorite dinosaur. But I don't think the guy at the grocery store knew what that was. He's gonna love it, Park Ranger. Almost as much as his Park Ranger birthday badge. Last but not least, what will probably be his favorite birthday gift of all time? He may look like he's crying, but I think he's secretly happy. Between you and me, I think he really loves those baby dinos, even if he doesn't know how to show it. <laughs> wow, what a cute little baby you are. <laughs> And you too! Aw, aren't you just the sweetest little sugar dinos in the whole wide ranch? Aw, aren't you just the cutest little sugar baby? <laughs> That's alright. Bath day. It's whenever I want it to be. I just finished inventory on all our tech. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Uh, I don't know. Park Ranger Asher, I need you to watch those two babies while I check on that egg. Sure thing, Park Ranger Orson. Baby's coming. First, these infernal soapy hands. Uh, let me hold that for you. This is Park Ranger Orson to all Park Rangers. Come in. Yes, Park Ranger Orson? Where'd the babies go? I don't know. I got distracted by the egg. Uh,. Just wanted to make sure that we keep this line clear. So, good job. Park Ranger Orson out. That was a little weird. Right? Eh, for Orson, not really. They couldn't have gone far. Agreed. 
We're in a very modest cabin, and there's only so many places two baby dinos can hide. Like behind the incubator. On it! Orson, you're the proud, educated leader of a secret yet reputable dinosaur sanctuary. Got this. I think we're almost ready. We did a good job. <laughs> Pteranodon, one of my favorites. They're like prehistoric pelicans. Negative, Park Ranger. Copy that. That was a little weird, right? Mm, not for Park Ranger, Maisie. <gasps> I have an idea. How about we make a trail of dino treats and then lead them into the pen? Good idea, Park Ranger. Now what? This was your idea. Oh yeah, now we wait. I think that's a Patinosaurus. That name means wing lizard. With a small butt, they look like little dragons. Said it. Oh, now this is more like it. Yeah. No more sleeping. We still have a baby dino to welcome into our world. All right, I forgot. ETA 30 seconds, Park Rangers, and we got some big news. Uh-oh. We're almost here. Well, the good news is I got the hat back with the birthday boy badge. Didn't we have a banner? <laughs> what banner? a little 
her after a situation. Say no more. Touch you put in the effort. Ooh. Delicious. Oh my god. And guess who gets their birthday badge? Do I get a park ranger achievement badge? And one more from all of us. Aw, look at the little babies. <clears throat> this is perfect. Thanks, team. Oh, very impressive. Uh, thanks. For your effort, I give you the Tyrannodon Tamer Badge. How are you always so prepared? Plus, I got one more surprise. Meet our new baby Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus? Parasaurus snuffleupagus? Uh, it's Parasaurolophus. They've got really interesting heads with a bone that goes all the way back. Also, they're herbivores, which means they're plant eaters. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Hey, Orson? I thought you gave the babies a bath today. It's, it's a, a long, long story. story.